It gets the cleanse and the immunity as well as the earth giant, the one that we keep on talking about. It's right up top there. We're not even gonna, wait a second. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Didn't I just refresh this? Or did that guy have the same thing? Like what's going on here? If there was one time I wanna showcase you what this unit can do, it's, it's gonna be today. Oh crap, he did the AOE science, he did the freeze. We are locked down and we just got wrecked, what? What's going on everybody? It's Childish, we're back at it again with the next video for Might and Magic Elemental Guardians. Today we're gonna be hopping into the arena to see if we can hold on to the number one spot. We got less than 24 hours to hold it down. We are sitting at rank 1811. Uh, with a couple of extra wings. So on today, we're gonna hop in. We're gonna probably do about five arena wings here and see uh, how we fare off. Um, but before we get into that, let's go ahead and showcase to you guys where we're sitting at with some of our creatures. Now, uh, I know you guys have saw in previous videos, uh, we were running uh, our attack bar booster uh, with our basic units that we've been using in, in, in quite a bit of uh, content early on in the game. We were running the fire arcane bird uh, with the earth feather core, the air giant, and of course the freezing basilisk. So basically, uh, since we got ourselves the Fire Goblin Shaman, instead of attack bar increasing, we're going to try to uh, reduce the attack bar of the opponent. Once we get that in, we're going to go back and forth between the Air Giant and the uh, uh, Freezing Basket here using their CC abilities to go ahead and keep the unit locked down. And between the Fire Earth, uh, sorry, the Fire Goblin Shaman and the uh, Air Giant, they have two single target abilities that will assist uh, with that as well. We got a single target reset with, on the Earth Giant as well as a blind and a silence on the uh, Fire Goblin Shaman here. So a lot of things to control our opponent. That's what we're looking for here. And we're gonna hope to see uh, that we can find somebody that we don't have to deal with any kind of uh, immunity or any kind of cleanse. If we can avoid that, then I think we should do uh, really well here. Now this first match, uh, this is gonna be a great learning experience because as many times as I've done these matches, I constantly find units that I uh, either overlook or I just forget what they do. Um, that's gonna be one of the things that I want you guys to uh, take on every single time you get in the arena. Uh, don't uh, don't be afraid to take the time to look at one of those units that you've seen. If it does something you're not too familiar with, check in the Menagerie, see what it does so that you can uh, uh, keep a close eye on it down the road, especially if it's something that you know possibly can counter you, right? Uh, because of the fact that I don't like that unit, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, get in there, just take it out. Now, funny enough, uh, I forgot to change my team. As you guys can see, I took out my Earth Feather Core and brought in the Fire Succubus here. So, spoiler alert, I've been playing around a little bit. I literally just got done recording, uh, attempting to record a 30-minute video, or sorry, not 30-minute. It was like a 10, 15-minute video, and uh, once it got done, OBS crashed. So, for all my... Uh, YouTubers and streamers out there, you know exactly how I feel right now. I'm definitely hyped up at the fact that uh, OBS is actually working right now. So yeah, here we go. Um, now I want to try to see if we can lock down this unit. We were able to mute it. And now let's focus on the one that we have elemental advantage of and try to take it out here. Uh, we got super lucky because uh, they did have that attack bar booster, um, but it looks like we were faster than them. So I feel like now we can just go ahead and, and uh, you know, auto it out. Uh, since we don't have uh, any, any uh, anything really else to do, just a lot of support support there. I think this one here might be the biggest threat, but it doesn't matter. We took out that Water Arcane Bird, so we should be pretty good. Now, uh, moving on, though, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll switch out that Fire Succubus now. We'll stick to that strategy with uh, the Earth Feather Core. The Earth Feather Core has a Strip as well, as well as a Hunting debuff that provides added damage, amplifies the damage by 40%. So um, one of the things that I like to use is him combined with the Earth Giant. Uh, the Earth Giant's second skill actually scales off of uh, max HP, and right now the scaling HP scaling is pretty strong. So, if I land everything correctly, I can do upwards of like six to seven thousand, even though he doesn't have any like, you know, uh, high critical rate, critical damage, anything like that. So, now this one here, I'm a little concerned because he has obviously a lot of ton of support. I know how that water treant works. It has the poison mail. It has the defense buff, it has the heal over time, but again, I'm not seeing an attack bar booster unless this one right up top here is gonna catch us off guard. So let's let's see if we can get it done here. Um, I'm hoping I'm hoping that he doesn't have any kind of uh, cleanse. I think that was the yeah, I think it's the ardent just the car, the air one here. So I'm I'm guessing it has some kind of revivability. Now take note that Water Vampire went super quick and got an immunity up. So unfortunately we won't be able to, ooh, we did strip it. We stripped it and we landed the attack bar reduction. So again, it worked out pretty good. Even though he had the first turn, it actually worked in our favor here. That's how that's how strong this unit is. 
uh, this Fire Goblin Shaman, I'm really, really having a good time with it. Uh, since we don't know what that Justicar does, let's go ahead and work him down a little bit. Again, right now, even though I have that single target blind and I have the blind here with the mute, there's really no point in doing it because, again, they're already locked down for two turns. And we're just we're just kind of tapping them a little bit to uh, take them out. Now, I did want to put in the hunt ability uh, so we can you know follow through with our earth, our, sorry, correction, our air giant. Um, as you can see, the damage was a little bit on the lower end. Uh, that was a mistake on my part there uh, because one thing to take note on, guys, take note. The taunting on there, even though it could be taunted on a unit, if it's not silenced, in addition to being taunted, um, then he can still cast whatever ability that he wants as long as he's targeted you know, on the unit here. So again, we need that th those taunting abilities with the silence is extremely strong and, and definitely want to keep up with that here. So um, obviously his skill is done, so I'm just going to go ahead and try to work this one down if I can. Probably should have put that blind on the, uh, on the Water Vampire. But that's okay. I'm going to see if we can take this one out now. Come on already. Oh, my goodness. It looks like we got stunned here. So let's try to get the freeze. We got the freeze in. So now we're just going to tap this one, try to take it out. I think the poison is going to kill him. So let's go ahead and switch over. And we'll use the Earth Giant. I keep on saying Earth Giant. If you guys don't know who the Earth Giant is, it's super strong. It's, it's obviously a unit that I want, right? Um, strip it. Remove it. All right. Good, good, good. So yeah, we should be pretty good now. Um, I'm waiting. I'm going to go ahead and focus on this guy because he keeps on doing random stuff on me. Um, actually, you know what? We should be good for the auto now. Now we got that big hit in. But yeah, that was pretty crazy. Um, it's so funny because, again, there's so many different mechanics in this game that it's so easy to miss something that important. And, and so with, with, with Air Giant having that taunt in the sleep, two different debuffs here, even though he may have... You know, you may get that first turn, you may have the speed. It's not like a guaranteed land. You can land the silence and not the time, but the time not the silence, and that will mess up everything. I mean, the biggest thing is the silence um, that we want to put on there. So, um, yeah, but either way, that was uh, pretty crazy. Could That could have been a really bad mistake on my part, not paying attention to that. So definitely learn from my mistakes here. Uh, I don't really know what this uh, water one does. Let's go ahead and see, since we just did a match with the, uh, uh, with the water train and stuff like that. Let's see if we can mix it up here. It looks like we got ourselves a pretty intense team here. They have a ton, a ton of uh, five-star units. Now, we only got two out of the four, but we have a ton of CC. So let's let's see if we can get it done. Maybe we'll figure out what this uh, Water Complex Shaman does. I, I believe all of them are pretty decent, um, but we're going we're gonna to learn today. We're going to learn today. I'm hoping that they don't wreck me here. Here we go. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what the... That was a pretty big hit there, and he wasn't even, he he critted on me on the water one, but he didn't even, I don't even know what happened there. Like, it was just, that was way more damage than I was anticipating, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. All right, so cooldown reduction. It looks like it's a meditation on that, unless that's part of it, you know. I, is he the one? I think the water vampire might be the one with the built-in cooldown. We're going to have to pay attention to his abilities, um, and if he's constantly cooling down, um, then that might be something here. Okay, okay. Again, I probably should work him, try to work that Water Vampire down because he's the one that's like really uh, wreaking havoc here. But I feel like we've already <laughs> we've already lost. I, I think what we need to do... Oh, he does have the Confuse on that first. It looks like he evolved into that Confuse. So um, that's one thing to take note on. If I recall correctly, the evolutions of the units across the board is the same. Like it's, you know, two different options there. So um, if that's the case, because uh, I've, I've seen other Vampires with the uh, Confusing ability... That's something to keep an eye out, especially uh, considering how strong that debuff is. It, it gives you, a, I think it's a 50% chance to, they can like force attack your own units, right? So get wrecked there, get wrecked. Let's go ahead and we'll just auto it out and let him, we'll, we'll, we'll take that honorable death again. Um, uh, shout out <laughs> shout out to this guy, he, he done wrecked me to no good. Let's see if we can get that back. Let's see if we can find somebody else here. We got three more, two to three more, but we might as well just do them all. We're moving pretty quickly here. Now, this one up top, I see that fire druid, so we're going to stay away from that. It has the immunity on there, and chances are it's going to get the first turn, especially with this one here. It gets the cleanse and the immunity, as well as the earth giant, the one that we keep on talking about. It's right up top there. We're not even going to... Wait a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Didn't I just refresh this, or did that guy have the same thing? Like, what's going on here? Okay. Okay. So... This is what I want to do. I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna go, we're gonna go with this, okay? We're gonna go with this. Now this is a lot of earth, so I'm gonna bring in, I'm gonna bring in my, uh, we're gonna forget the dots, and we're gonna bring in the damage dealer here. So 
Let's let's see. Let's see if we can ignore defense on one of these units and take them out. I, I feel like I feel like the Earth Giant is not gonna be a good thing. But especially going up against the Air Giant. But hey, if there was one time I want to showcase you what this unit can do, it's it's gonna be today. Oh crap. He did the AoE science, he did the freeze. We are locked down and we just got wrecked. What? Oh my god. What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> okay. Okay. Apparently, hey, this is bronze one. If you have 154 speed on your attack bar uh, uh, reducer or uh, booster, apparently that's no good. That's no good. Okay. Let's see if we can get one more in. We need to get that. We need to get that mojo back. That one hurt a little bit here. Oh, you know what? Wait a second. I, I'm feeling this one. This one, we got a, a couple of squishy units. So this is the one that I want. Let me, no, I'm going to do this because I'm so, I'm so excited about this one. I'm actually going to take away my freeze. Okay. I'm going to take away my freeze, which is not smart. Okay. I want to bring in, I want to bring in my monster. Bomb. I literally want to make sure that I one shot one of these units here. Where is my monster? Bomb? Now, again, this is. Don't don't laugh too hard. He is level one. I'm literally using him for the for the attack buff and the defense break. We put it in. We ignore defense on one. We kill him, and then we follow through with our additional turn. Oh my gosh, 10k damage on that one. Wow. Am I even gonna get a turn here? Okay, okay. Who do we go for? I think we go. Let's go for the uh, let's go for the fire neck rope because we all know how OP that is. We got the kill. Now let's see if we can take this one out. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Keep going. Take this one out. Oh. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, oh my God. What just happened? <laughs> what is going on, dude? What is going on? Oh my God. Get wrecked. What is going on? Oh my goodness, dude. This is, <laughs> I'm not even, dude, I'm not even going to, I'm not even trying anymore. Like he deserves this win. Like whatever. The, the, I think he got the HP disabling unit um, and defense break science. This is what I'm talking about, man. Holy cow. Like, I I need to get good. I definitely need to get good. And take note, this this unit actually is rocking the life seal stat on that succubus. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I think we got one more. I think we got one more. Let's see if we can squeeze it in real quick. One more for the win. Holy cow. Let's see. What, what This is a lot of water. This, this has the, yeah, this one has the... Uh, the cleanser, and we have that annoying uh, ice knight that we don't want to deal with. Let's see if we can find something else. Obviously, we just saw that air Jessica and what it did. I think th this is the same guy. That's the same guy. Forget that fool. All right, next one up here. This this art Jessica. I don't remember what it does, but this is, is that a water minotaur? I think that is. And he, uh, I forget what it is, but he has some kind of thing that like that reduces thing damage or some kind of, somehow mitigates. So between him and the water train, it's going to be a little hard. Um, let's go ahead. Let's let's bring in our, our regular team here, though. Let's let's get let's get back into the mix here. Let's try to go CC. Let's see what that air unit is. I didn't even see what it was because it's evolved and I didn't recognize it. Uh, okay, it's that dy Dymo Dynamo. I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, for the love of God, please get the first turn, and we got it. Oh shoot. Okay, so I remember. Yeah, that Justin Carr had that uh, skill that provided the reflection as well as the Phoenix Soul. So we can't kill it right now because it's going to revive. Um, but we can put some dots on and we'll try to land it. Hold on. We missed. We got the mute on everybody. Okay. So take note. I'm taking a look. I'm, I'm trying to, trying to use my, uh, my brain right here, right? Trying to, trying to rock with that 200 IQ. We did not land the taunt on some units, but we did get the silence. So as long as we get the silence, I'm okay with that. Um, that's, that's really, really what I, what I want to do here. We're going to wait it out. Try not to, uh, Try to see if we can put this hunt on here. So now we can use our air giant to do our second skill based on max HP. But apparently uh, his damage was a little little bit of a weak sauce there. Okay, so again, just going to hold it out right now. Next time around, we can definitely land a couple more abilities. Let's go ahead and put this uh, silence in. Uh, the dynamo should be dead. So let's go ahead and work on some of these other guys. And we still got a little bit uh, more until our hero is available. So... Let's go ahead and try to put some dots. Let's get the freeze now. Again, two-turn freeze. I love the skill. If you guys have not uh, built it already, the freezing basilisk, again, one of the three basilisks that are super OP when it comes to two-star uh, units out there. Um, really, really having a blast with them. I hope you guys get an opportunity to use them and build them. He's really exceptional, not just for PvP, but for PvE as well. I use them in Tower of Trials. 
really good unit here. So let's go ahead and auto it out. I feel like we got this one. It looks like our hero was available with his skill. Again, the hero is on a Chimera build to help out with the DPS since I'm generally running a heavy, heavy amount of support in the PvP uh, section there. So again, it's... Uh, Oof, it was quite the ride here, but again, I, I this is I, this is crazy. I'll tell you what, I don't know about you guys and how you are in arena. I know that I know that the fights may seem a little bit long or you know, just but this this right here, every single match that I do is super fun because it's a learning experience. You get an opportunity to go up against people with combinations that you never thought they would put up in there. You think people are just throwing random nap fours left and right if they have them, but some of these guys are really synergizing well, thinking about combos that would have never even thought about. And so I'm really excited to see uh, what is, you know, coming up here in the higher ranks of leagues here. So, um, but yeah, either way, guys, that's going to be it. If you guys didn't see our last video, we talked about the upcoming stream. We will have one Sunday. I guess today's Sunday for you. It's Saturday night for me. But we will have one tonight uh, from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. However, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. I know I said that fast. Sorry about that. However, we will have our giveaway stream, uh, as promised, on Monday. It's going to be at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time on June 25th. Again, we had a very, very successful giveaway uh, session. I was really happy of everybody that stopped on by, but unfortunately, we had a lot of people. Apparently, we have a lot of people that support our channel on Twitch uh, that were, it was like two or three in the morning for them. They weren't able to stay up there. So now we're gonna go ahead and provide that one. We're gonna do some giveaways live on stream as well as do some uh, crazy summons for you guys, and we'll put out a little a little video for people that can't make it on Monday uh, afternoon, so that you guys have an opportunity to win another pack as well. So, yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. Thank you all so much for your support. It's your boy Childish, your Childish Place, checking out. Take care, and we will see you all in the next one. I'm out.